At Forest Hills Witten Road Cemetery, there's a standalone building located all the way in the back. It has a note on the door calling the room a sacred space where loved ones come to be prepared. It pledges a never ending commitment of respect. But on the outside, you can see signs of deterioration and extra headstones neglected and left out in the sun. Now the problem solvers have uncovered new scathing evidence against the troubled Memphis Cemetery with three locations in the city. The respondent establishment has an infestation of rodents and that the owner management has not taken the steps to mitigate and resolve the issue. This is video from a meeting of the Tennessee Board of Funeral Directors. They're talking about an infestation of rodents in that building. In fact, take a look at this complaint submitted to the state by a Forest Hill manager. He says the rat problem began in June 2020 and continued until at least March of 2021, allowing rats to eat away at bodies in their care. He says he reported the issue to his superiors multiple times, but despite the warning from the ex employee, was employed at the time, the respondent continued to use the preparation room. As a result, the manager resigned. According to the board, it happened to two bodies. One family was notified and the other family was not. When we visited the Witten Road Cemetery, we found the building in the state we showed you. We didn't see any repair crews. Eventually, a man identifying himself as a manager came over and asked us to leave. Is this building shut down right now? Um, I can't answer that question, but if you'd like to give me your information, I could pass it along. Is there anything that you'd like to say to the community about what the board says happened here? No, ma'am, but if you'd like to pass along your information to me, I could pass it along to someone who could be in touch with you right away. The problem solvers have previously told you about Forest Hills extensive problems. We found seven state disciplinary actions leveled against them in the last year. And we helped Murtis Pewitt get answers about deterioration issues at the Whitehaven location. It makes me feel pretty bad because I'm going to be buried there and I want it to look right. Forest Hill is owned by a Pennsylvania-based company called Stonemore, which settled with that state's attorney general last year over deceptive business practices. A Stonemore official told us in May they were making big changes in Memphis, flying in a team to revamp operations and replacing all management. After our latest visit, I got this statement from the same representative, calling the rat infestation an isolated situation that was handled immediately. This is ridiculous for some uh, business to, in this profession to let something like that happen. Eddie Hayslett is another customer, all too familiar with Forest Hills issues. His wife died last summer. Since then, he still has not gotten a headstone for her grave. You'd call half the time you don't even go to reception you go to voice mail no return calls the problem solvers helped him get a temporary stone in place after you contact them, the ball is rolling but after this latest revelation he's relieved they only used forest hill for burial and not funeral services knowing what i know now if i had to do it again i think i would go somewhere else even though this sign by the entrance says forest hill is licensed by the state they are now at risk of losing that license to operate solving problems in northeast memphis stacy jacobson wreg news channel 3.